It's a Christmas miracle. I finished paying for this on the 19th. It got here today, December 24th. It's from 5K Toys, the Dinosaur Battlefield, Dinosaur Battlefield, the Carnivorous King, T-Rex Blood Blade, uh, limited edition, B blue guy. So wow, wow, wow. Like, I just, I just started pulling stuff out of the box. Um, first thing, like, it has, like, this ridiculously nice little card holder for the little... It's a plastic card. If it's metal, it's like really thin. I'm not taking it out of the plastic yet, but it has this logo on it, <clears throat> which is which is super cool. And it tells you which number of the 800 is it. Uh, I have 290 of 800. So whatever that means in the long run, who knows if there was actually 800 of these actually made. I mean, like it'd be amazing if there was because you know you got to make stuff for like you know possible QC issues or anything like that. Um, the next thing that was super neat with it is like this, this basically like a postcard print. And then on the back, it has like, you know, uh, I guess, I guess you say Chinese. And then over here, the English version of the story of Blood Blade, which I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but it has, uh, Game of Thrones like things. Uh, it has, uh, fathers, sons fighting over the throne, uh, necromancers undead dinosaurs teaming up with other dinosaur tribes the uh, triceratops ones i believe the name of the leader of that one is king C cbr and uh defeating the necromancers and but then later uh then continuing their fight and uh killing killing said triceratops uh king and i'm pretty sure the uh, the skull that comes with him is that king's skull, which is pretty friggin' rad. Um, the other thing is, I, th I think this is supposed to be the bonus weapon that comes with it, I think. Um, I couldn't pull it apart, so I think it's just like a cudgel, and it's sharp as shit. Like, that, that is very, very pointy. All the edges on it are pointy, so, uh, be careful. <laughs> Not for kids. Uh, the next thing I noticed was he does have where there's a bendy wire and a tail, but this plastic is so strong. It's ridiculous. Like I have it bent that much from like bending it this far and then letting go. And you see where it goes back. So you could have a like a little bit with it, but it's it's still not amazing. But like it's not going to break, which is which is super cool. Um. I'm going to have to like break them up, a, well, not break up this a little bit because like first thing was like taking him out of the box. Uh, his head was not attached. I need to attach that. Let's see if I can do that real quick without uh, jacking things up. Okay, that took a second. Um, what I figured out though is this, it's not soft, but it's a hard plastic covering to like i guess you'd almost say like an interior skeleton of ball joints uh that hold on the arms and the head and like this was lifting off and popping the head off there um i think it's supposed to be glued on to the skeleton you know inside of it but uh i may have to mess with that later but i mean the head pops on there and it stays on for the most part uh minus okay just popped off well <laughs> Uh, we'll we'll see what we can do with that. Like, let's see here. Let's take a look at that neck. It's like a it's a coarse ball. It's not a smooth ball. It's got a lot of texture to it. I mean, that ball staying on. Why you why you no stay on other ball? Why you no stay in? Eh. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I may try to contact Five K Toys and ask them about it check some other reviews. I didn't think I seen any ones where like the heads were constantly popping off, but holy shit. Okay. I'm just going to leave it off at this point, but I'll show you what's going on here. Like if I lift it, you can see where it's, it's actually, let's see if I lift it. You see that that way and you can see it in there where it has that square in the ball joints for the arms 
in there too. So that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> I may have to work on this a little bit more because like so far I do like it. I just wish the head stayed on. What the hell? It may just be a one-off thing. I'm going to look into that. But other than his head popping the hell off so much, he does have like a lot of articulation. I like how it has, oh, the butterfly to it. It can only go so far forward, but the look of it, it's, it's, it's like, it's like having the option is nice. He could be able to reach across his chest just about, but having that big boy body does hinder some things, but that's the sacrifice of having a big boy body. It is what it is. You can get it back so far, which is, which is pretty nice. He has the holes in his back for his shoulder pauldron, uh, which I'm used to with Mythic Legions and everything. The single jointed arms are really nice. I was kind of hesitant at first because like since it had like the two tone to it with this color here to the purple and the blue, I was like, okay, you're going to have the joints there. I think I can't remember which which figure it was, which color it was, had where it seemed really, really hard, like, like that. It, it Actually, it's on all of them where you can see that color there and it kind of doesn't match and it kind of takes it out of me a, a little bit but like it's not a big complaint um i do love all the sculpt on it the paint work on it i feel like is definitely worth the price because it's so much of it on this guy the soft goods on them are they're well made uh for the size i do wish the leather was a little thicker but then it might be not pliable enough to have where you can like mess around with it so much and be able to put like these hard plastic pieces um with this word uh not tack through it uh why am i blanking on the word it's not a stud um rivet like a rivet in through there um i do wish this had like a separate mounting piece to it like it has where it goes through if you can see in there Actually, let me see if I can take, take this off. It has where it goes through the uh, the leather there. It's not super thin leather, but it's not thick leather. And I wish it was thick leather. Uh, let's get this off here and take a look and show you what I mean with that. I wish it had like a mounting plate or some other piece to it to have where it feels more sturdy on there. I don't care if it would hinder any kind of like... Let's be real, it's not like a lot of crotch mobility on this guy where it's like, oh, there's stuff going on there, like legs kicking forward, like insane. Uh, you already have a, here we go. You already have, a, a, I guess this would be like a walrus head on the front there uh, to have a piece there that kind of like keeps it steady, uh, at least on the back, would, wouldn't hurt too much, but... It's it's on there, and they have, like, a piece of leather done up over that to, like, hold it in, I suppose. And that looks like how they went through with all the soft goods on here. And for the most part, I mean, like, it feels sturdy. So let's, let's see how that goes. He does have the fur on there, and it has where it's dual layered there. I like that. It's a good stitch to it. Ah. I mean, with C. Jessam Soft Goods with Mythic Legions now, it kind of, it. I don't want to say it makes me snobby, but it does make me pay attention to them more and kind of critique them more. This, this isn't wired, but it has where it feels like the right like thickness or like hair length for this figure for what he's doing. It it matches up. I'm I'm down with that, and then. Obviously, you've seen other reviews for it. Uh, the leather L has where it's all buckles on there. So that's that's super neat. It's it's a little more to work with there, a little more to mess with. But, I mean, for the price and everything, I think that is the step up is having that more realistic, real-world, scaled-down kind of feel to these. So I, th I think it's a plus. Um, with his legs, they can get so far forward if I mess with them because you see how his crotch is there you see how his his fat leg is there <laughs> I mean like is it really a kick forward if you turn to the side I don't know it seems more like the hokey pokey so they can't lift up straight you gotta twist them it is what it is with that uh, 
Then when we get to his knees here, the way his knees are constructed are similar to the Zezray, where it has that like piece into the piece. They go into the thigh and the lower leg. This tail. There we go. Into the lower leg there. It does feel good. It doesn't feel as strong as a Zezray, but it feels in the same family because it's the same kind of design. Actually, I think it just might be this upper leg right here. It feels a little, little looser. Still strong, but like this one feels tight as fuck. That's fantastic. Now, uh, let's see here. Down to the feet. I know the feet are supposed to be individually articulated on the toes. And that's a thing. So you can twist them around. And yeah, the joints are in there. They're painted over though. So I can, I can wiggle his toes. And that's a, that's a thing you could do. It'll look good in a display if you have like a good diorama to mess around with. Uh, I need to get one because like some of these things, they need a diorama because like they look so good. Okay, I got the head back on there. I don't know how long this will last. I'm not going to mess with the back part of the neck. The ball towards the head, not popping off. It's just where it attaches right there. I wasn't able to get the arms off. Uh, I didn't want to mess with it too much right tonight with that but i wanted to move on to like the other soft goods with it because he does come with this like like huge huge cape this is this is massive this is this is quite the large cape um it, it's not fully wired it's only wired on the sides but the wire in there is like a is like a very thick gauge so it's not gonna snap or anything like that anytime soon i'm excited about that but it's it feels good. It feels like good material. I do like the fur on it. Once it's on him and I have everything else on him to be able to have it linked on there, I think it will be wonderful. Let me move on to the little accessories and stuff he comes with because it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff, guys. It's a lot a lot of stuff. Um besides that, he does come with like gripping hands, so he has a pointing hand and kind of like a gesturing hand. But I do wish he came with fists. Um, I mean, like these are these are quite close to it. But I mean, like I would have liked just some fist with it, because like even these, even these have where they're not exactly the same mold. But eh, eh, you know, beggars beggars can't be choosers, but like you can. You can decide on your own if that is a, a, a thing that will keep you from picking up this figure. Let me get the other side off of here. It's it's a thing. It's a deal. Yay, I threw something. Uh, he's got his little Tyrannosaurus helmet there. That's, that's really neat looking. Let's get that focused in on there. I guess I'll get that on there in a second. It doesn't have where it's like a stretchy wire. It has where it's a, it's a plastic. I think originally uh, some of the reviews showed it with like a stretchy wire, but it's like, it's, this is, this is like a plastic. It's also, I think it's the same material the belt's made of. I wouldn't pull on it too hard because like these hooks are still made of plastic. So uh, be careful when you're putting this on there. That's, that's a thing to look out for. So Think about that. Maybe that's why the head pops off so easy now. Um, I assume this is the enemy uh, or his uh, rival's head that now would adorn his helmet. And it does have a steel rod in there. That's that's quite nice. Let's see how that attaches there. If it attaches easy to his, his cranium. It isn't too bad. Eh, that's not too bad. I mean, with it being steel, it shouldn't break. But I mean, like, be careful when you take it on and off. Because, again, that's metal and plastic. So this is a, this is, it's kind of malleable, but it is a harder plastic. So if it's cold, be careful. Okay. We got some cool shoulder pauldrons. And I think these are also, like, where you can, like, pop them all apart, too. I'm pretty sure. I think that peg goes all the way through. Let me give it a, give it a little push and a twist. Maybe, maybe that's a thing doing a thing. Maybe that's coming out. <laughs> maybe I'm, yeah, it's, that's a peg. There we go. That's a separate peg hole. Eh, 
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. I like that. That's that's a lot of detail. I like the paintwork on it and the blood splatter. That's cool. It's 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 on everything. If you wanted the clean one, this is not the clean one for sure. Same pauldron over there. This massive weapon. That's pretty dope. It's a little bent. I'll heat that up. It too has a metal rod in it, and it also is sharp as fuck. So be careful for the pointy ends. Obviously, like the, the blade itself isn't sharp. I mean, like, man, if you if you didn't moisturize her, uh, you, you might get cut. So be warned. Here we got a little crotch piece. That's I mean, that's highly detailed. I mean, like, it's all great looking. It's all very well detailed, very well sculpted. Okay, that doesn't feel like it's going to break. I like that. I'm glad they went with metal rods on there. It needs to be straightened up, but, like, I... I'm glad they went with metal rods so I don't break it. Because I'm pretty sure if that was plastic, I would have broke that stuff off instantly. Oh, let's get a dope... We got a dope little necklace. That's cool. And does it have... Oh, it's got an adjustable drawstring. Well, that's neat. I, I like the scaled soft goods and, and, and jewelry and stuff. It really adds to it. We got a, like a little bird head here. That's cool. Well made. Oh, no. And another little pendant charm here. That's cool. And I think this is the bag of... Oh boy, let's see what's going on here. Da, da, da. What are you? Oh boy, here's an adhesive bit. Don't know what that's for. And uh looks like a replacement strap for the helmet. Yeah, it comes with a replacement strap for the helmet just in case that breaks. And I guess it's a secondary one there too, just in case. I don't... I think the adhesive bit goes into the helmet. To keep it from rubbing on the head. Um, I'll have to mess with that some. I didn't know this was going to be so in-depth. Honestly. I thought it was going to be like, oh, here, here's here's this review. And it's like, dude, there's a ton of shit. And, and I think I'm missing a piece. Oh, wait, no, thank God. Oh, thank God I'm not missing a piece. So these are the pegs that hold the pauldrons. And I was like, I only saw one. I'm like, oh, no, this is my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad someone was there. Uh, counting and keeping uh, keeping track of that. Thank God. Cause, dang, that would have been some shit. I can understand missing like a little piece or something like that. Oh, that's cool. Why should I go in there? That's in there. I like how that feels. And I'll just go ahead and shove this one in there too. Again, it's like... I. I I, I like how rivets feel. It feels like that, but it is just a peg in a hole, but like it, it feels like I'm I'm riveting it into his back, which is don't don't judge me. It it just seems really really cool. I like that. That's awesome. Uh he also has some more charms, which disturbingly enough, uh I hope yeah, that's that's gotta be a uh three, four I mean it's got five fingers. I mean, it's probably a dinosaur hand, but like how messed up would that be if that was like a human hand and they were just dominating <laughs> all, all other species. That would be, that would be sick. Oh God. Now I, now I'm kind of wondering, cause that looks like a leg bone. Oh, okay. This is definitely like a horse. Yeah. That's like a little horse leg. <laughs> What story are you trying to tell me here, Axie Toys? What could have been? That's that's another little pointy bit. And then there's just a ton of little little spikes and things you can put on him. And that's not... That's... I kind of wish there was more, but I mean like... Oh, oh, it stayed on. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. Can I tell you what? I'm going to actually take this off. I'm going to take this hook off. Easy peasy if I can. Yeah, I'm going to take this strap off and put the helmet on there like that. Because, eh. Let's see here. And that would be like that. That looks right, but 
okay, that strap would have to go behind his jaw. So I'd have to take the head all the way off. Let's get this straight here. I'd have to take the head all the way off, take this piece off here, put the helmet on there from the back, I imagine. Yeah, I'd have to put it on through the back, get it behind the jaw here, because these hooks fit behind the jaw to have that strap on. And uh, yeah, maybe that's why the head pops off so easy now. That's a thing. Oh, oh. thank you if you if you blessed me. If you didn't, I don't care. But yeah, that's that's interesting. I kind of get it, and like, I think he's okay without it. I mean, like, if I was if I was going for like some kind of like super awesome video or something like that or some sort of like diorama piece i probably would take the time and probably honestly heat this up because i think it's a little it's a little warped too because you see how it's just going in his mouth there it's it's a little warped there too just a little bit of heat and that straighten up but like that straps this like it seems like it could be annoying it, it's not it's not an easy removal and that's kind of not great and get, Stay on, yeah. Now I know why there's a strap on it too, to stay on his damn head. Okay, that's a thing. Nah. You know, no, I'm not even gonna try to put that on there right now. I'm just gonna get this. <laughs> I'm going to get the cape on him, and then I'm going to have some final thoughts on the Axie Toys, uh, Carnosaurus Dynasty. Thing, blade, blade, blood, blade. Yeah, blood, blood, blade. That's okay. Maybe this go. This goes underneath. I think this goes underneath. I I need to mess with this more. <laughs> let's let's get the final thoughts because like this was a lot of stuff here. I mean, like he he's great. He has or he's very big. I do like my big boys, like the predator is 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 right there with him um i just threw together this this brute here it's it towers over him it's it's a massive guy i think about that when you're adding to his collection and to your collection because like he's gonna take up a lot of real estate okay yeah see where that's warped there but okay final thoughts enough meandering Let's move on. All right. So final thoughts on this guy. He does come with like a ton of accessories and a ton of neat little things just to make him look cooler. Like real metal pieces, all the little diddly bobs and dangly bits you can add to him to make him your own version of this guy. It's, it's kind of amazing. The soft goods are fun. They're neat. They're very well detailed, very intricate for what it is. Honestly, for the price point of the standard ones, not the special edition blue guy, uh, you get a lot for a little over a hundred bucks. But that being said, I think if you're a diehard fan of like Axie toys already, you do need the T-Rex. The but if you're looking to put your toe into Axie toys and get a dinosaur battlefield character, I don't think the T-Rex is the first one you should get. I honestly think, I think it's the, I think it might be Car Carnotaurus uh, 3 that's that's coming out. I'll throw a picture up right here. Um, I think that will be the figure that'll be more accessible to people and more enjoyable. Because with this figure, obviously he's super bulked up, super big boy. Kind of limited in the hips. I don't know what's going on with the head exactly. I think it has where it's just, you know, to be able to get the helmet on there easier. But, eh. But I think when that next round of figures comes out, those will be the figures that'll have where they're a good price point. They have more of the little issues ironed out. And they'll be a good intro into this line. So, I don't think the T-Rex is for everybody. But I think Axie Toys is putting out an excellent product. 
but I just don't think it's hit that point just right for everyone. But that next wave, if they work on like it has where it's a it's a, a slightly slimmer body, still has where it's a you know crazy muscle dinosaur. If the hips are better and the soft goods are a little bit easier to work with on them, I think it will be the one that you need to pick up. If you're interested in this figure and you don't want to pay this giant price for them and you you saw my video and you're like, oh, this, that, and it makes you a little skeptical, wait, check out that one. I think it's only like 69 bucks. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than this, and it's still cool looking. It may not be exactly a Tyrannosaurus, but it still has where it's a carnivore, and that's still badass. So this has been Billy Beige. Um, I'll see you in the next review. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Feliz Navidad. Happy Hanukkah. Um, all, 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 all the things. All the things. I hope you're all doing well. And I can't wait to see you in the new year. And we'll get that top 10 done. See you later, guys.